Whiteface Ski Resort is one of New York's premier ski resorts with an elevation of 4,650 feet, a vertical drop of 3,430 feet, 299 skiable acres, and on average gets 168 inches of snow a season, which means if you're lucky, you can definitely get some East Coast powder days. Whiteface also hosted the Olympics in 1980, which is kind of crazy as well. Now this is our resort review series where we go to a brand new ski resort, we absolutely rip it, we shred it, we have an incredible time there, and then we come back here and we give it a score from zero zero to 100. The way we're gonna get that score is by going over 10 categories. Each category is gonna get a score from zero to 10. Zero is not applicable, meaning they don't have it at all. One is terrible, five is average, and 10 is best in the world. Now that's just how we rank these places. This is how we're gonna do it. But at the end of the video, we will give it a score from zero to 100, but I'm also gonna tell you who this resort is for. So make sure you listen to the very end so you know if this resort is for you and your family or you and the boys. But with all that being said, let's jump into the first category, lift prices. How expensive is it to ride at Whiteface in New York? And coming in at 100 $124 for the day. That's actually really good for this size of a ski resort, this resort in general. This is close to a West Coast style mountain. And so coming in $124 for the day, it's pretty on par, it's pretty average. So I give them a five for lift prices. Now lodging, ski in, ski out. Can you ski in, ski out at Whiteface? They had the Olympics, where'd everyone stay? Well, they didn't stay on the mountain. They don't have any lodging, so they get a one for lodging because on their website, they do have the local areas that you can stay in listed, which is really nice of them to help you guys plan your trips. So they get a one. Now ease of access, how easy is it to get to Whiteface? Well, if you flew into Albany, it's gonna be your closest international airport, you're looking at a two and a half hour drive to get there. Now it is kind of a little mountainy, you know, depending on the type of snow they're getting that day, it could get a little hairy out there. It's not gonna be the easiest of the drives, but it's not a bad drive at all. And so when it came to ease of access, I gave them a five for ease of access. It's pretty average. You're going to the mountains, you're gonna go around a mountain. It's like that. Now, if you're wondering why we came to this ski resort or why we went to so many other ski resorts, it's because we have this crazy goal to ride every single ski resort in the United States. And you guys can track our progress by going to resortskimaps.com. This is a resort map of every single resort in the United States. All the green snowboarders are the places we have been to. You can click on them and watch the videos from our travels there. If you click on a red snowboarder, nothing will pop up because we haven't been there yet. You can see we're gonna be this upcoming season by checking out our resort calendar that's going to have all of our trips planned for this upcoming season. Resortskimaps.com is literally the coolest place for just interacting with the resorts that are in the United States or across the world. I use Resort Ski Maps to plan all of our ski trips, which is really rad. So check out Resortskimaps.com. Com. Now lifts, we gotta get up the mountain. And how do we get up the mountain at Whiteface? Well, this one got me stoked because there is an East Coast gondola. So they have eight chairlifts, two surface lifts, and a gondola. Whenever you get a gondola in a weird place like the East Coast or the Midwest, I don't know, put a smile to my face because you're like, that shouldn't be there. But Whiteface is a pretty impressive mountain. They have a gondola. Their chairlifts were pretty new. They had some high speeds, some threes, two seaters, things like that. So when it came to chairlifts, I give them an eight for chairlifts, dude. They're rocking the gondola. It was so sick. And also the lifts get you where you want to be. Like you're you're gonna get to the mountain where you want to be super easy. Now runs, we got up, we got to get down and they have 94 runs on this mountain. But sadly, the slides were closed when I went and this is just one of those times where we go somewhere, we know we need to hit this certain thing, but they were closed. And I was shocked because they had a decent amount of snow coverage, but still closed. And that's the bummer about the East Coast is a lot of this terrain at Whiteface, it's just really good and really awesome, can be closed if the conditions are not right, which happened to us. But the runs that we did do were pretty mellow, pretty fun. We kind of mainly stuck in the park despite it being an overcast day. But overall, when it came to the runs, I think you're gonna have an incredible time there. They got beginner to pretty ex expert runs with the slides. So I gave them a seven when it came to runs. Now the park, once again, that's what we mainly rode there. How good is their terrain park? And even on a cloudy, stormy day, we had a blast in the park because their park was full of creative features. Now they do have pretty up-to-date rails that are thick and nice, and they got crazy kinked ones and stuff, but they had the, this house feature, this really cool bong feature. They just had a lot of creativity in their park. It wasn't the gnarliest park I ever ridden, and it wasn't the best day for jumps. I wasn't too impressed with their jumps, but overall it was a super fun park. Creativity, fun features, stuff like that makes a park stand out. Like a lot of times in the East Coast, they, you'll just go to one resort to the next resort and it's the same park basically, same features, not creative, stuff like that. This one was creative. So for that, I gave them a six for park. Now, 
you're enjoying this video or any of my videos and you want to support the dream, consider snagging an Evolution sticker. We do have a ski version for all the skiers out there. Grab the sticker, throw it on the side of your head, let everyone know you are a part of Team Hawkhouse. Obviously, we have t-shirts and all other kinds of merch. If you do snag any of the merch, just make sure you tag me on Instagram. And I'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in the vlogs like I'm doing, but we're also following back one person a week that is snagging the merch and tag me on Instagram so you could get followed back. Now food, we're ripping white face. We're gonna get hungry. We want to eat and they have a nice lodge. They have two options for you to eat food. They have a new restaurant that has like sushi and some more high-end food. And then they got their, your traditional lodge, like the burgers and fries and things like that. So not a crazy amount of options, but you got, if you wanna eat fancier, you totally can. So I gave them a six for food. Now views and scenery. It was a stormy day. I'm so bummed. I really wanted to see the cool lakes and everything like that. But even just looking at white face and it cleared up a little bit and I got to see the slides and stuff. It's an impressive mountain from what I saw, but you guys tell me in the comments did I get that one right. How's the views and scenery from white face? You know, it kind of showed me like, oh, there are like big mountains on the East Coast, which is really cool. Now employees, we cover employees because an employee can make or break your trip. You can have someone that goes above and beyond and make sure that your ski gear is like perfect, you know, it fits you and everything. Or you can have someone that just wants to rush you out the door, they're having a bad day or they're hungover and they don't care, you know, and it ruined your vacation. I personally had a thing happen at Keystone that would ruin anyone's day. You can check it out right there. And that's why we cover employees. And so when it came to employees at Whiteface, I don't remember seeing a single person. They had literally like the little get your own ticket without seeing someone because this was during COVID time. So I don't remember seeing an employee. So when it comes to employees, I gave them a five for employees. Now the last category, the would I go back factor, because if I want to go back to a ski resort, why would I recommend it to you guys? And I would absolutely go back to Whiteface. The slides are calling my name. I personally really want to ride like the tough, hard terrain on the East Coast, because that's what I'm doing out here on the West Coast. When I go to a ski resort, I want to do what the hardest stuff it has to offer. And I didn't get to do that at the ski resort. Also, once again, their park was super fun. It was overall just a great experience. So I would definitely go back. So when it, on the would I go back factor, I gave them a nine. Now, if you're enjoying this review or you want to see if I reviewed your ski resort, you can check out the resort review playlist right here, or you can go onto resortskimaps.com and we have a list of all of their rankings in order so you can see what resort got the best score of all time. Now, white face the score from zero to 100. What did they get? They got a <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> A 58, which is really good for the East Coast. This resort was rad. I can see why they could have the Olympics there. It was a really fun overall experience. And who is this resort for? It is for basically anybody, especially if someone that can ride harder terrain, because once again, it has it. If it's open, you can rip it and ride it. The park rider, the families, anyone can come ride this ski resort. The one thing that would be hard with the families is just not having lodging at the bottom. But with that team up, Kelsey, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. It's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Damn!